Here we go. So I've got uh, four different mysterious bottles here. Let's turn them around and see what we got. Madeira, so four different Madeira, all with over 100 years of age. It's pretty uh, unusual to see such a lineup, a rare treat indeed. Landis, 1920. Doloveras, 1908. Cossart Gordon, 1845. Very Brothers in Rudd, also 1845. These are all the same grape. Buol, you'll see a different spelling. B-U-A-L is more of the English spelling. B-O-A-L is the same grape, more with the Portuguese spelling. Now these two on the left are recent bottlings, meaning that they were aged at the winery for the majority of their life and released quite recently. The Blandies we can see in the corner there, bottled in 2020. Doloveras says on the back, bottled in 2021. On the 1845 duo, the Berry Brothers bottled in 1973. Crossheart Gordon does not indicate the bottling, but it does have that 70 centiliter indication here. We can see the condition of the paper and overall the kind of style of printing indicates maybe a similar age range of bottling in the um, late 20th century. So having tasted through these, I would say that the Berry Brothers in Rudd is the most savory, a lot of um, kind of underbrush, mushroom, dried porcini, incense, patchouli, and sandalwood. The Cossart Gordon had a really interesting evolution in the decanter. We did this sort of crystalline decanter, and you can see the depth of color that it achieved over time. So that really blossomed in the decanter and became quite complex. Still held a lot of fruit, but gaining um, some wood smoke, um, dried herb quality. It even has in the color a green tinge to it. And then between the um, Blandies and the Doloveras, I would say that these have a high level of concentration due to their youthfulness. Doloveras had a lot of the wood tones come through due to the barrel aging, uh, a lot of cinnamon, spice, and clove. And the, the Buol had the most fruit in my taste. So it had uh, citrus, but a lot of dried plum, apricot, and orange rind as well. So really marvelous side-by-side -side comparison. All of these were using driven corks, so no uh, tea caps on these. Uh, used a Durand throughout and um, very memorable tasting. Thank you to Michael for sharing these. Cheers.